So as you probably all know, I have a crab paludarium and it's uh, got a bit of water and it's got a little waterfall and it's got some a water area and then it's got a land area and it's got some bricks that have got holes in engineering bricks and they make their homes in those engineering bricks it's got some areas to burrow in at the back and it's got a load of bog wood and in it it's got about 40 or 50 crabs and they're vampire crabs and when I got them originally I got some red devil crabs I got some vampire crabs that were purple red devil that had a uh, red carapace and red pincers and then I got rainbow crabs that were kind of a pinky orangey red color I've still got the big female she's pinky orangey red and I still got a load of red devil crabs that have crossed with uh, vampire crabs and so their bodies are purple their, uh, sorry, their, their legs are purple, but their bodies and their backs are either red carapace or yellow carapace, so it's a shell on the top. Um, and there's a lot of them, there's about 40 or 50 in this crab paludarium. And the waterfall's up and running. As I said, I've been mucking about with it all day. I had to move the, the paludarium and the fish tanks about because I've got another fish tank coming. Anyway, um, I found when I moved them, I, I kind of knew that this was occurring anyway, there's a load of baby crabs. So baby crabs in the crab paludarium. They're not just in the crab paludarium, I had to take all the stuff out and I had to put it in a polystyrene box. So, as I say, I had to take the crab paludarium apart. And when I did so, I had to put different parts of it in this polystyrene box, like the bricks and like the bog wood and the plants and all that sort of thing and when I did that you could see the baby crabs I'm just going to zoom in because this is how tiny they are that's the end of my finger down there and I think that's crab near it you see that I'm pointing to so here we go let's zoom in might be wrong about that one nope not there we go baby crab that's one and there are others in here so I've just seen another one Maybe it is. Well, it might just be a blob of something. But there are more than one baby crab in here. So my, there we go. So my crabs are still breeding in the crab paludarium. And when they, as they grow, they get their colour. When they're tiny babies, you can see they don't have any colour. And then as they get bigger and bigger, they, excuse me, for wiggling about. As they get bigger and bigger, they start to gain colour. First of all on their pinches, and then later on they get it on their carapace, which is the shell at the back. And uh, they either got red, orange, yellow, or red, orange and yellow um, carapaces. And, um, oh, lost that one. And, um, just trying to zoom in because there's other ones that from there see another one now. There. Um, so yeah they've got they're either rainbow, crosswood rainbow, uh, vampire or red devil crabs. Um, a lot of them, the adults, a lot of the adults, that one's only a juvenile still it hasn't got its full colour yet. But a lot of the adults have got red claws, yellow eyes and either a red shell carapace or, um, or a yellow or an orangey pink shell. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you in to show you that my vampire crabs in the crab paludarium, it's a little fountain uh, filter, um, and there's a, a youngster there as well, but there are an awful lot of them, 40 or 50 in here, you just don't see them all the time. They come out mostly in the daytime, and um, they are still breeding. And so I've got lots and lots of baby crabs, which is fantastic. Baby crabs in the crab paludarium. Awesome. Cheers.